Hello folks, with 6.15 to go in the third period, we apologize for the blackout inconvenience. It's been a, quite a uh, difficulty to handle with. And even though there's only a little bit of game left to go. It's been basically decided thus far as the Red Army currently have a 5-0 lead over the Yellow Jackets as they continue to wind out. But there's been a surprise for the Yellow Jackets as Andrew Hyman is back on the ice. We were expecting him to be gone for six months, but the way he's been going, he's been recovering at a fast pace. And the way this guy's been going, we could expect him to be another elite star by next season. Again, the Red Army continuing to surprise the lead with another big performance. 5 0 this time against a Yellow Jacket team that, that has been struggling. As now Andrew Hyman gets the pass over to Quaco. Quaco winds up for the shot. Gets over to DeSalners. And this one is headed back. And another thing is Andy and Clive's not here, so it'll be Angelo Pontello taking over as Spartacino. Taking a shot, bounces off of Wood. They'll go the other way, Spartacino on a rebound shot, and it gets knocked away as well. Capable now gets the pass off to the Solners. The Solners now gets it over to Jim Thomas. He skates around trying to set up to an open to Solners. The Solners has a wide open shot, but lets it be taken away by Sabler as Angelo Pontola gets the pass off to Tish. Pass over to Quicko. Quicko now gets it over to McGraw as he gets the pass off to Favier. This one back the other way. And Quicko now gets the pass over to Thomas. Now over to Sabler. Gets it over to Favier. Makes a move. But he'll, make, he'll get the pass back to Tish. Tish trying to set up to Favier, taking the shot. Wood fumbles with the puck, but he manages to get the save. Again, folks, we apologize for the inconvenience. Basically, during the missed time, it was settled, basically, as the Red Army Managed a 5 0 lead over this Yellow Jacket team that has just been struggling these past two weeks, but they'll be able to get something on the board as Bill Whitlock will break the shutout, and the Yellow Jackets will at least come away in this game with a goal. Joe Gambone really close to getting a shutout here, and then Red Army now just playing whatever. for a squad that has nine players compared to the Yellow Jacket team that has almost a full squad. This has been just another shocker here. Jim Thomas on the move, he'll get tripped up by Pontello. And that's not gonna look good for the Red Army. And now with 3.58 to go, Pontello gets hit with a tripping call. And he is going to be sent to the box as the Yellow Jackets come up with another power play. The Yellow Jackets have been capable of mustering some kind of thing. A comeback, that is. And it is all possible still to somehow get four goals within the next 350. But they're going to have to act fast if they're going to be able to get something done here. Capable with a shot. And that's goal number two. Could we be seeing something here? Who knows, but that power play goal by all Capable will definitely start to build the Yellow Jackets coming back for a late comeback here. Red Army at this point need to just focus on defense here. And with that, the Red Army take a timeout. We'll take one ourselves. 346 here to go in the game. And the Red Army have a 5-2 lead.
He is Angelo Pontello of the Over 50 Hockey League. He is the Over 50 Elite Hockey Player. He is the most interesting hockey player in the world. I don't always break my clavicle playing hockey, but when I do, I use rock tape. Play healthy, my friends. Welcome back here, folks. 5-2 Red Army lead. Kind of sick. And there they go as the Yellow Jackets continue to get on the move. Al Capobo is off to the races trying to set up to Whitlock, but Poncello gets in the way. And it gets to Hogan Yee as he will pass this one out. Sam DeFranco skating around, struggling to get the puck out of there. He'll finally find Paganella. And Paganella lost control of the puck, but he'll quickly regain possession. Stopped by Pontello, intercepted. And it's going to be stopped by DeFranco, who will go ahead and get the pass off to Whitlock. He struggles to get it out there. Angelo Pontello trying to make something happen. And Capable comes away with the puck as he gets it away from Hogan Yee. Capable winds up for the shot. Jim Thomas makes a move, and Pontello will knock this one away, this one going back. Fabier trying to get to it first, but Wood stops it as he gets it over to Jim Thomas. Finds Whitlock still with the puck. He'll find Paganella trying to take the shot, and he will be stopped by Joe Gambone. And as another lineup change comes on, there's Andrew Hyman. Still can't believe that he is back in uniform after an eight-week absence due to a tendon injury that we thought was going to sideline him for the rest of the season. Quickle finds the puck, takes the shot, gets knocked away, and now here comes Spartacino in the Red Army. And the Spartan takes a big shot as it will be stopped by Quicko, who's going to be headed back the other way. And he's going to clear this one out as Sabler picks up on the puck. Gets past McDermott, past D'Angelo, and now back to Quicko, who is covered by two Ren Army players. Now puck over to Andrew Hyman. Trying to find an open shot, takes it away. And the Red Army, of course, as Bill Tisch clears this one out, are looking to even the series here to end the regular to have their regular season series end with both, with both teams winning two games apiece. As there goes Andrew Hyman, quickly gets through, lost control of the puck as it gets knocked away by Gambone. And now in a few minutes as McGraw gets the shot off, it deflects off of McDermott's skate. Now it's over to D'Angelo. Stopped by Quicko. Yellow Jackets doing everything they can to try to get back in this one. As now D'Angelo takes the puck away. And he will clear this one out as Larry Wood comes to stop it. Gets past, Larry Wood stops it. Now over to Tish taking the shot. Oh man, that's gonna be something he wish he had back. Larry Wood got out there way too early out there and he's only lucky that that one didn't go in. And now Spartacino trying to set up. He gets tangled up by McDermott. But the Red Army still managed to get back in possession. Tish trying to set up to Spartacino. And it gets past Andrew Hyman trying to take the puck away. He does. Finds RT3, only to get stopped by Mike McDermott. And now here comes Sabler to try to dump the puck back in. Now over to Quicko, and we have now a minute left in this game. Pontello takes this one away, now it's over to Spartacino. Trying to set up, gets back over to Pontello, taking the shot. Spartacino trying to finish. And John Spartacino ices this game with 50.3 seconds to go, and the Red Army take a 6-2 lead over the Yellow Jackets. Red Army well on their way to their fourth victory of the season to improve to four and five. And they will definitely tie the Yellow Jackets here, which will definitely make the standings more interesting with the final two games upcoming. But from a team that was projected to finish about two and 10 this season, has definitely come a ways here as they pick up their fourth win. Favier taking the shot. Wood with the save. Fantastic. And as for the Yellow Jackets, things aren't looking too, too terrific over here. As they will drop to three, five and two on the season. But for when it looks like things were picking, were going up and the Yellow Jackets were picking up the pace. They fall back as they're gonna 
lose two games in a row to a Grey Wolf team that has no defenders, and now to a Red Army team that is still trying to find their ways in this league as Bravada takes the shot, knocked away. And now it's over to Jim Thomas, seeing what he can do from here on out. And here comes Al Capobo. Got Paganella and company to work with. Sets up to Whitlock, taking the shot, and he misses. As the setup for Whitlock gets knocked away, or basically he knocked himself out of the opportunity as Paganella now has the puck. Puck is away as Varlada takes the shot. DeFranco stops it, Varlada takes it away, and he's gonna knock this one away. And that's gonna do it here, folks. Final score, Red Army six, Yellow Jackets two. And for the Red Army here again, this is a very important win for them as they improve to four and five on the season. And for a team that's without Mark Giacomin and Marty Washburn, the Red Army has seemed to pick up their own and look out because once the playoffs come, they should be a definite threat here. Meanwhile, for the Yellow Jackets, on the other hand, they're still trying to find answers, but nevertheless, it's great to see Andrew Hyman back on the ice. If only we had more... Uh, if the camera was right here on time, then we probably would have been able to see more of this guy trying his hardest out there. But what a game this has been for both teams, but the Red Army, of course, just came out on top here. This has been another production of Pontello Studios. And we'd like for you all to, you know, stay tuned, even though I'm sound like I'm doing this for the Grey Wolf credits kind of thing. Be sure to stay in tune for, I believe, two weeks from now as the Red Army will be taking on the Grey Wolves. And that should be an interesting game. Here at the Ice Sports Forum, I'm Angelo Pontello, and we thank you all for tuning in.